Okay, this is like the tenth time I've tried to do this video. So I'm gonna try to do this. Hopefully the counter won't fuck with me. Hopefully the, the thing will keep on saying recording. So dude, I've said this <laughs> so many times. We would have had a 40 minute long video of me telling you to not get out of this. But um, I don't wanna go there. I understand how you feel. And I saw your wife in the background. Man, for a second, I had a flashback. I'm saying to myself, fuck with this. What is he doing in my kitchen? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what he's doing in the kitchen. Getting away from the rest of the family. I try to get away too. But, I'm not that good at it. So, let's forget that. Now, my wife is pretty much like your wife. I ain't gonna lie. She told me she wish she could just grab the camera and bash me upside the head with it. She's tired of me doing YouTube. Uh, my boss, my boss, my boy, Boss Francis Coppola, uh, he told me, you know, what the fuck is, oh gosh, you're making me forget stuff, because I'm looking at this picture of you, and all I could do was think about you telling me at one time that, you know what, I'm not even mad at you, <laughs> I remember that shit to this day, and I will always remember that, because you're the first person that replied to me and told me that I was wrong. And once you told me that I was wrong, I went back and I looked at a whole bunch of different things. I don't know if you got the one video reply I did to the reply when I was talking about being in my boss's parents' house. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I was telling you about the statues of blackness all over this people's house. These are a Mexican family that's been in America a long time, and they had black statues all over the house. I mean, statues of black musicians, black angels, black children. I mean, my God, there's so many black people in the house. I looked up and the only white picture in the house was a picture of Jesus. I guess they couldn't find a black picture of Jesus. I don't know. But, let's get back on point. You were telling us in this video that, you know, I'm going to take it from a different perspective. Me and Willie Pete are bickering over the same fucking story. Black women are dumb as hell. Not all. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it in this manner. There are no older people, like I always have been saying, like I've been saying the last couple of videos. When the elders left the village to find knowledge, none of them ever made it back to the village. I'm going to use a vernacular like that. I'm going to say all of the elders have left the village. And when you leave the village, you leave children behind. And that's what we have. The black community the so-called African-American community is completely run by children. The black women have been was it, denigrated or put like this. The black women are deluded. The black men are locked up. There's nothing but children in the black community. You've got Al Sharpton with a fresh motherfucking perm popping up every goddamn time somebody black stubbed their goddamn toe somewhere. And we, there are no black leaders. These people that we turn to as our so-called leaders are phony. Al Sharpton, come on, man. He looks like the Reverend Al Sharpton. Period. He needs to be in church on Sunday telling people what to do in church. That's what I feel. The realest person I've seen on TV, and I hate to have to say this because people are going to take it wrong, is Reverend Wright. Reverend Wright says some things that were harsh. That shit's real. People see that shit. But there's a perception out there that black people don't care. Black people this, black people that. Black people don't care. Black people want to be equal. The problem is, equal to what? There is no equity anymore in America. We can fight for rights. So what? It's like when I was working at the Sonoma County Fairground. I bitched and I complain. I even offered to take a dollar pay cut so the people that works for me would have an extra 25 cents each hour. How can a poor motherfucker offer to give the next person a dollar off their pay? It's leadership like that. That's what we need. We need somebody willing to sacrifice in front of everybody for one goal. 
but the sacrifice that our so-called black leaders have the real black leaders that we've had they all died do you think Jesse Jackson is gonna get up and scream equality now no and the thing is this like you said if the man is truly the king of his castle how come he ain't bringing home the bacon how come he ain't doing this how come he ain't doing that and I say sometimes that I can't do things like I used to because I can't I can't work and hustle like I used to I can't go out and try to sell dope because I can't there's an image that I have to have now because I have a child even though my child is blah 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 years old there's an image He's at that age to where somebody can say, hey, man, let's go get high. Come on, dude. Smoke a couple of joints. He's at that age where someone more impressionable than me can take him. And people fail to realize that our children have been taken from us. MTV, BET. On a video when I put on the hood and I was telling people to give them a face, I made a statement. I said, we're being controlled and frightened and scared by the people who, who, who ride behind three little letters. And I'm going to break this shit down the only way I know how. The three little letters that I was talking about weren't KKK. They were ABC, NBC, CBS, FOX. UPN whenever there's something new a new station or a new channel they flood that motherfucker with black shows cause niggas don't do nothing but sit in front of the TV and don't do fucking shit yes I'm going bad on black people because I am one what better way to better your people by showing your people that you are their people Young people don't listen to old people anymore. Young black people don't listen to older black people because we failed. I made a statement a long time ago and I held this statement in my head until just recently. There was a woman from Africa and I commented on one of her videos. And then in the video I said, man, I ain't never been to Africa. I'm not fucking African. She replied to me in a video and she only left the video up long enough for me to see that moment. She said, you are African. This is your, I fucking love her voice. This is your heritage. First time anybody from Africa ever told me I was African. No matter how much white blood I got coursing through my system, no matter how much pain and suffering we went through, I used to always think, while people were getting kidnapped in Africa, you motherfuckers sat back and watched didn't have enough balls to go try to take one of these ships down didn't have enough courage to fight the people with the fire sticks the same shit happened to Africa that happened to America oh we need your help oh I hate to have to say this but if those people would have died at Plymouth Rock what would the world be like now let's get back to leadership we are the leaders. We, you, me, everybody willing to speak is a leader. Leaders are built. Like you said, you have to make a leader. You have to make someone want to lead and give him all the knowledge or her all the knowledge to put forth that movement. It's not money. We don't need money. We have been fighting res for respect in a world that has no respect for us. We're always seen and we will always be seen as the help, the servants. We might not be the lower level servants. We're that servant they come to for comfort. Hey buddy, can you help me bro? I have never used the word bro. You know how many white folks call me bro? What's up bro? Hey bro. Bruh. No. I'm just Lonzo. Hey, Lonzo, what's up? So, I don't want you to quit. I want you to keep going. 
But until then, you've been tubed.